As science progresses, we are becoming more capable of doing really amazing things. We can clone animals, we can travel into space, and soon we may even have the power to bring extinct species back to life. Hey YouTube, welcome to the most amazing top 5. My name is Roya Germani, so sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. Before we begin, I have a mission for you. I want you to help me get this video to 200 likes, and I also want to know what animal would you bring back from from the dead. Let's jump into our list with the top 5 extinct animals we should bring back to life. In the number 5 spot we have the woolly mammoth. I know what you're all thinking, these things are huge, why would we want them to come back to life? Well it turns out, humans and mammoths coexisted quite well since the ice age times and our species probably wouldn't be around today if it weren't for the mammoth and all that stuff you could do with one if you hunted it. So just in case we go through another ice age, which for us Canadians honestly is basically every winter, it would be kind of nice to have these guys around again. Up next in the number 4 spot we have the passenger pigeon, but Roya, just go outside we have tons of pigeons. Yes, but the passenger pigeon held a special significance for many native american tribes. The Huron people believed that passenger pigeons were the reincarnation of the departed, so bringing them back would sort of be a symbolic way of bringing the deceased back to life as well. Comforting or creepy? You decide. Moving on to the number 3 spot we have the saber toothed tiger. Not because Diego is my favorite character from ice age, but because predatory animals are extremely important important to maintaining populations at a controlled level to sustain the environment. And the saber toothed tiger was an excellent wide ranged predator. Well, actually, not excellent enough clearly. Next up at the number 2 spot is the dodo. These birds are famous for being so stupid they basically drove themselves into extinction. Now if only some people I knew could do that as well. So while bringing them back may not last very long, it is possible that we could crossbreed them to create a dodo that is slightly more self aware and won't just run into the jaws of its predators. And why should we do this? Simply put. This thing is hilarious to look at, and it's nice to know that nature has a sense of humor. Finally, in the number one spot, we have Neanderthals. Otherwise known as cavemen, the Neanderthals technically weren't humans like us, but they were a subspecies of ancient human. So, can you imagine the field day biologists, psychologists, sociologists, any kind of ologist would have it if we could bring back these close relatives. They would provide such a rich insight into how we developed and how we can keep going as a race. But there's one question. Is this a smart idea? Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So there you have it, the top 5 extinct animals we should bring back to life. My name is Roya Germani, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.